So it seems like nowadays, a lot of us are pining for that sort of film look when we're shooting photo, especially with our digital cameras. And that's ultimately why I've been using cameras like the Fujifilm X100F, the X-C3, and other Fuji cameras um, for that sort of my fun stuff, if you like, because I've always wanted to get that film-like look. And I always wanted to try and do the same with my Panasonic camera, so my S5 or my S1. And in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you exactly how I make my Panasonic S5 and S1 RAW files look like film stock. And it's extremely easy, it's extremely simple, and you still get the full flexibility of shooting raw as you would with, you know, regular shooting. So while I was doing some research into film stock presets inside of Lightroom, I stumbled across this company called Really Nice Images, and essentially they make Lightroom and Capture One profiles that emulate authentic film stocks. And the difference between a profile and a preset is essentially your allowed to still edit the file without ruining the look. And what I mean by that is, I mean, let me show you. So if I was to go into Lightroom and then go to my presets on the left-hand side and then click a preset like this one, for example, you can see how it's changed all of the images settings um, with that preset, which essentially means that the look itself is almost dictated by the settings that it's set your image to. And while that's really good, it means that if you did want to tweak it slightly, like let's say raise the shadows or even change the white balance and stuff, you might ultimately destroy that look that you're going for and it's almost like a destructive process if you think of it that way whereas a profile inside of Lightroom is actually non-destructive so if I take that off of it and go to the profile tab which is these four squares in the top right corner as I go to the portrait one for example you can see now that I've got the look the portrait look on my image but it's not actually changed any of the actual settings on my image so I can actually go ahead and open up the shadows change the white point the black point the highlights etc contrast and also the white balance while still maintaining that sort of portrait look. And you can then go ahead and actually slide how much of this look you want on your image as well. So I can then take it completely off the image so you can see what it looks like without, and then add it to your sort of heart's extent. So that's why I like working with profiles in Lightroom more than I do presets, because you get more flexibility, and it means you can actually edit the photo accordingly without the sort of preset dictating how much you can push or pull that file. And that's why I rarely use presets inside of Lightroom now. So yeah, that's a different Difference. And this company, like I was saying, Really Nice Images, um, they do sort of packs of these profiles, and they have three different packs for film stocks. They have the Demo, the Light, and the Pro. And the Light and the Pro, of course, they go up in prices, um, but what I'll be showing you today is all in the Demo pack. And although I do actually have the Light pack myself, I bought that because I love the Demo one so much, and I would recommend to you guys, once you download the free Demo pack, to maybe look at getting the Light pack. But today, like I said, I'll be focusing on the free ones that anyone can download and not spend any money on. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll just go to an image that I have loaded here. Um, so for example, let's take this one and I'm just gonna go ahead and resize it to four by five for Instagram. Get it where I want to. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and select the Portrait 400 one that comes free. And then as you can see now, the effect has been added and I'm just gonna go ahead and just do a few tweaks like I would. Um, you know, normally with a raw file. And you can see here that I'm really not being pedantic with it. I'm just going, you know, sort of by eye very, very quickly to get this sort of look. And there you go, like in, what was that, five seconds, I've got a look which is sort of Portrait 400-esque. It's edited the raw file and made it look very, very sort of stylized, but also quite natural. Like it's not too overbearing like you see some presets are. It still looks somewhat natural and not too disgusting if you like. I mean, of course, his skin does look a little bit too warm here. So I might go ahead and pull back uh, the warmth for that. So there you go. I mean like there for me That's an edited image and it took me literally the best part of 10 seconds So that's almost how they work and I absolutely love them um, So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and edit a few more images for you here now again Only using the profiles that are found in the free version So if I go to this image here, so this one for example, you can see that it's slightly underexposed So what I'd actually do here is I go ahead and I change the exposure before I did anything else So I'll just quickly correct this where I can and again, like I said, don't judge the um, editing here. I'm being really quick because it's demonstrate because I'm only trying to demonstrate this to you. Sorry, um, so I'm not really spending too much time at all. So there you go. There's that. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use the E200 one, which is in a demo pack, and bam, that's on there now. And I might just warm it up slightly, make it a little bit more green in the shadows because I quite like the green look. And I might actually dial down the highlights slightly. And then there you go, showing the before and after. That again took me about 10 seconds to do. What I might go and do actually, I mean, I think the skin again looks a little bit too greeny yellowy. 
So I might just correct that slightly. There you go, just like that, and I think that looks good. And of course, you'd go ahead, and with portraits and stuff, you would go ahead and you know get rid of any of the blemishes, and, you know, smooth the skin, all that sort of stuff. But I'm just trying to show you guys how this workflow essentially gives you that really nice film natural look and a really sort of like stylized edited look without looking too overbearing and without taking you too much time at all. And like I said, those ones including the demo pack. So yeah, very, very quickly in five seconds I've gone from that to that. Um, so you can see how good that is. I will do one more image for you guys now. So if I just take this one, for example, this was taken on the GH6, um, you know, just showing how it works on the Mark IV first sensors and the full frame sensors. And I'll just go ahead and I'll go and choose, uh, let's choose the E200 one again, because I think that that one looks quite nice on quite a lot of images. And you can go ahead and like I said, open up the shadows, change the highlights and your white balance without actually ruining the look that you're trying to get. Um, you know, with that uh, profile that you're adding to it. And like, just like that, I'd say you've got a edited image in, I don't know, how long was that? Not long at all. Um, and also with that, on the, le the left hand side, under the sort of presets, you do get a toolkit as well, whereby you can go ahead and change the softness, your fade, you know, sort of where you have that nice sort of uh, roll off on your shadow section, makes them a little bit more faded, which is quite nice. And of course the grain amounts, you know, large, medium, small, going from ISO 100 to 200, 800, 1600, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you this today because I know that I don't really do too many videos on the photo aspect of what I do. So I thought this is a really nice way to sort of just open up uh, the sort of field, if you like, to how I edit my photos and somewhat get that sort of film like look when I am editing. So yeah, anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please subscribe to the channel because I do make a lot of videos here. Sorry, on the Panasonic S5 um, photo and video stuff in general. So if that's your vibe, then this channel is definitely for you. So yeah, thanks again for watching and hopefully I shall see you in the next one.